every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist once we grow up. My dear learners, would you agree with Pablo Picasso, the great painter? Do you still remember those days when you recite a line of a poem? Hum a tune, tap your feet, or simply drawing a circle to make a smiley reminds you of your childhood and makes you excited, right? Bring along those memories with your creativity and expand your vision in arts. This semester, you will learn various art forms. Be inspired by the work of great artists. Feel proud of your culture and use these learning experiences in producing your art. I will be here to guide you along with your subject teacher. In this episode, we are going to study about contemporary arts. But first, I will discuss the term color and how it helps us to make an art. Are you ready? Come along and join me. I'm your art tita, Teacher Joanne, inviting you to go get your pen and paper ready. And let's learn about the contemporary Philippine arts from the regions. Hello there, senior high learners. Let me bring life to you through colors and images. Imagine the only thing you are looking at right now is the color I am going to flash on your television screen. I want you to look closely and feel the emotions along with the colors. What color do you see? Red is correct. How does it make you feel? Some of you may say happy, others hungry, excited, or in love. Red indicates danger, just like the traffic lights and the warning signs are all in red. While red in our flag, once inverted, means war. Cultural differences can compound those effects with a hue that's happy and uplifting in one country becoming depressing in another. Next, let's try this. What color do you see? Blue is correct. How do you feel? We could both agree that color blue is cool to the eye and relaxing. Blue has a mild calming effect and the color is usually used in quiet environments. Blue for those from the United Kingdom associate the color to feeling sad. In our local understanding, blue refers to the color of the skies. Bughao is also the direct Filipino translation of royalty, as in the phrase, Dugong Bughao. What you have just experienced with the colors and emotions that go with them is color theory used by art designers. The color theory is also a science that is continuously being studied to know more about how people will react to a certain color. At the same time, the emotions of color can be used in poems or literary pieces, the lyrics of a song, in a stage design, in a play or movie, mural art to a light display design. Colors are used to create mood and response to the viewer. As you understand the meaning of colors, you will begin to appreciate art. Art is a part of a country's cultural treasure. Our ancestors have trouble communicating with each other through language, and the only form of communication is the use of symbols and figures. It was a way for our ancestors to say how they feel and document their daily activities during those times. This unique prehistoric art shows no indication that colors were ever used in the drawings on rock formations. In 1965, while walking in a nearby cave in Binangonan, Rizal, national artist Carlos Botong Francisco 
with his Boy Scout troops, discovered the rock formation. Our National Museum is taking care of the Angono petroglyphs and was declared as a national cultural treasure. The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, included the Angono petroglyphs in the list of the 100 most endangered sites of the world. The petroglyph cave is near Laguna Towns known to be a haven of wood carvings. And the art capital of the Philippines in Angon Rizal is a few kilometers from the site. It was believed that the artists and woodcarvers from Laguna, Binangonan, and Angon Rizal were descendants of the original cavemen. Since art is seen as a meaningful expression, its impact is huge. Art is derived from the Latin word ars, meaning Skill. Art these days is not just but a skill. An artist must have the power to have a creative imagination, which becomes the talent that is fueled by passion for art. Art allows us to showcase our talents. This is something unique to us, an opportunity to share a blessing. Let us agree that art is a creative expression and it has the story of our heritage, the uniqueness that is founded by our ancestors passed on to our civilization. It defines our culture. Let me show you a great painting that tells us about our rich cultural heritage. What is this famous painting of Juan Luna that won first place in Madrid, Spain? If you answered Spolarium, you are correct. Spolarium is a large oil painting measuring 4.22 meters by 7.765 meters. Imagine the height of a PBA player times two and a little bit more in height, while four PBA players laying down on the floor in a line that is how gigantic this painting is with its width. I look so tiny in front of it. This is the largest painting in the Philippines hanging in the National Museum. In 1884, the famous Ilocano painter Juan Luna won his first medal in Madrid. According to some art experts, the fallen gladiators who are being dragged in the painting are the Filipino people, while the men dragging them are representative of the Spanish rule. It is believed that the woman crouched on the right side of the painting is the mother country or the Inambayan who weeps for her Philippines. The bloodthirsty crowd to the left represents social cancer. The spoliarium is truly an art that represents the Filipino society during those times. Spoliarium by Juan Luna is an example of the most internationally renowned piece of modern Filipino art. Placed in a context of digital animation, this version of moving Spoliarium is an example of contemporary art. What makes the digital animation of Spolarium a contemporary art? It is because of the new content of the artwork. It is produced now by a living artist and that makes it a contemporary art. Contemporary means present day. What is contemporary art then? Contemporary art is the art products of the present time and from the second half of the 20th century or in the 21st century. These are the artworks produced by artists from the 1970s up to the present. Artists living today who produce art are called contemporary artists. Let's see 
How well do you know Philippine contemporary art? Let's do a fact check. Answer true or false on your paper. 1. The Rizal Monument in Loneta Park, Manila was designed in between 1905 to 1907 by Richard Kisling to honor the memory of Dr. Jose Rizal, our national hero. Is the statue of Jose Rizal in Loneta a contemporary art? True or false? If your answer is false, you are correct. The monument of Jose Rizal is not a contemporary art which is found in Loneda. It is an example of a modern art. 2. A popular dance, cariñosa, meaning lovable and affectionate, is a hide-and-seek dances between dancers. Is cariñosa a contemporary art? If your answer is false, you are correct! Cariñosa is a folk dance influenced by the Spanish colonial rule. Number 3. The Balangiga Encounter Monument in Balangiga Eastern Samar is dedicated to the heroism of local freedom fighters. The art sculpture was designed by national artist Napoleon Abueva in 2003. Is this a contemporary art? True or false? If you answered true, you are correct! The Balangiga Encounter Monument is an example of a contemporary art. The sculpture reminds us about the struggle and heroism of Filipinos in the bloodiest encounter against the American forces in 1901. The church bells used to warn people of incoming danger were seized and the bells were returned only after a hundred years in 2018. 4. Ryan Kayabiab composed songs of a three-act opera in 2003 entitled Spolarium. Is this a contemporary art? True or false? The correct answer is true. Spolarium de Opera is a contemporary art derived from the famous painting. And Mr. Ryan Kayabiab or Mr. C is known in television and was awarded as a National Artist for Music in 2018. 5. The Edsa Shrine and the Statue of Our Lady of Peace in Edsa, Corner Ortigas, was built in 1989. Is this a contemporary art? If your answer is true, you did an awesome job! It is indeed a contemporary art built after the Edsa People Power Revolution of 1986. The National Commission for Culture and the Arts, NCCA, declared Edsa Shrine as an important cultural property designed by national artist Francisco Maniosa, and the large sculpture of the Lady of Peace was an artwork of Virginia T. Navarro. Wow! You were doing great with our lesson about the arts today! Contemporary art themes are mostly about culture, human rights, political issues, economy, and other conflicts affecting the world, as seen in the eyes and experience by the artists. Each contemporary artist creates art that tells us about how they view life, their thoughts, ideas, and belief, and many more that defines human life. An artist may have personal reasons for indulging in the arts. For example, our national artist Benedicto Cabrera, known as Ben Cab, who owns the Ben Cab Museum in Baguio, was inspired by a beggar scavenging in the streets of Santa Cruz, Manila, wearing plastic scraps. Artists create because of their passion for the arts. Art as a social function. Man is a social being 
and as such, he associates with his fellow beings. One function of art is to gather people and celebrate the talents behind the arts. Since we are experiencing a pandemic, we miss the events and gatherings of concerts and festivals. As an alternative, we have social media as a medium in spreading positivity through arts. Singers do a live streaming of their songs, sharing their talent for free. Milestone celebrations, just like the 50th anniversary of the Cultural Center of the Philippines, was shown in their social media account. Cultural Center of the Philippines or CCP is the home of contemporary arts in our country. On September 16, 2020, a light show culminates the 50th year of CCP entitled Sinan, a large-scale light projection on the CCP's main building. Sinag means light, a symbol of hope for Filipinos. The Sinag lights and sound shows the spirit of pakikipagkapwa-tao at pakikipagsimpatya or the value of empathizing towards others. Sinag displays the timeline of the history of CCP. CCP Complex, which housed the Philippines International Convention Center, PICC, the Folk Arts Theater, or now known as the Tanghalang Francisco Balagtas and the Film Center. CCP is a home for theaters, museum, exhibit halls, and the National Arts Center for Venue. It is valuable in inspiring world-class Filipino artistry and with that, artwork can be aesthetic. It serves to beautify and visual art is a good investment. Art has an economic function. Look at these artworks of great Filipino artists and the market value of the work. This is the Lavanderas. In 1923, this was painted by the national artist Fernando Amonsolo. It's worth 21.5 million pesos. The function of art is more than what is earned by the artist. Art has a historical function as well. Sculptures of Jose Rizal are seen in almost all the towns and cities in the country to commemorate our national hero. This includes events that occurred in our country, just like our example a while ago, the Balangiga Encounter Monument and the People Power Revolution in Edsa Shrine. Art has a cultural function. A part of the country's material culture, it defines our identity as Filipinos. Almost all art forms evolve from religion. Art has religious function. The bulol is an anito protecting the granary of the Cordillerans. The Middle Eastern design of the mosque in Mindanao depicts Islamic influence and art, while large architectural designs of churches were erected by Spanish in most towns all over the country. This becomes architectural landmarks. As a Filipino, it is our pride to love our own art and cultural heritage. Today, we have learned what color can do about its function and define contemporary arts. We now know that art is fueled by talent, skill, and passion. Arts comes from the Latin word ars, meaning skill. Contemporary means present day. Function of arts are personal reason, having own decision in doing an art. Passion for art, it is for the love of arts. Social function is how we see ourselves and others as social beings. Economic function, it is the monetary compensation of artists. Historical function, is the purpose to show significant events in the country. Cultural function is the material matter of the country. 
religious function is the purpose to create art from religious inspiration. Aesthetic is all about beauty. Let's see how well do you remember some terms in our lesson today by rearranging the jumble words. This means skill. Art. You are correct. This means present time. Contemporary is correct. A home of culture and the arts in the Philippines commemorating its 50th year is Cultural Center of the Philippines is the correct answer. Wow, you're good at this game. A blank function of the arts that tells about important events in the Philippines. Historical function. You are awesome. You got the correct answer. My dear learners, for your homework, I want you to gather a picture of historical shrines and landmarks in your region. Post a photo of this with the hashtag CPAR1 hashtag CPAR1 or you can join our group page on Facebook Art Tita where you can freely post your photos. Thank you my dear learners. See you again next time for another fun activity, I am Teacher Joanne, your art tita. Always happy to serve. God bless you and keep safe.